The French resistance has informed British intelligence that for the past four days, an admiral of the German U-boat command has been using Le Havre Town Hall as his headquarters. More importantly, he has not been observed leaving the building to quarter at an alternate location. Command believes we've been given a chance to land a blow on the Nazi chain of command, and you boys are going to take it. Chieftain, we should be one minute out from the coast. Keep your eyes open. Okay, so you can see the French coast off in front of me. I am flying the de Havilland Mark 6B Mosquito fighter bomber as a member of the Royal Canadian Air Force today. And this is a custom scenario for the Mosquito that I created myself. The mission's pretty simple. You have to go into the town of Le Havre, identify the building as soon as it gets lit up by a French resistance spotlight and drop your bombs. If you hit the target, you win. If you don't, you lose. I see the cliffs. Bank right, and we follow them south. Stay low to avoid radar. Okay, we need to make sure that we stay pretty low. We flew all the way across the channel at like 100 feet, and I want to stay below the cliffs here so that the radar doesn't pick me up. Ooh, I'm a little high, actually. I want to stay fast and low so the radar doesn't pick me up and so that the anti-aircraft and the spotlights can't see me. The only way you survive a direct attack with all the flat guns that are going to be there is by staying low and out of sight. Yeah, these cliffs are pretty imposing. Just up to my left here is actually a Luftwaffe airfield. Hopefully, they don't hear me and scramble fighters. I got the beaches of Normandy just off to my left. Oop. There it is. There's Le Havre. Pop up, and let's look for the target. Okay. Pop up into the sky to about 1,500 feet, and then look off. I should see the target lit up in just a second, wherever it is. There it is. All right, bomb doors open. I see it, there's the spotlight. Open the bomb doors. All right, bomb doors are open. 250 pound bombs right on it. We only get one pass. Bombs away. Let's go low, make sure not to hit the ground right here and pop up to see target effect. along the coast. Let's leave. Perfect. North low along the coast so that these spotlights don't hit me. Oh man, they see me. Hold on, I see pursuit aircraft taking off. Hey, let's take a pass at them and hit anybody before they can chase us. Yep. Those are some Fock Wolves. Oh, absolutely lit that guy up. Nice job. Alright, now let's get out of here for real. Yep. <laughs> Do not want to get caught. Low over the cliffs. Now I'm in a sea of blue, so I have to stare at this altimeter. This is the sketchiest part. I 
think we put enough distance between us and them. Mission accomplished. Let's head home. It's kind of hard to see the altimeter behind the stick right there, but we are less than 100 feet. Okay, we're out of here. The coast of England is directly in front, and I don't see fighters behind us. You can still see the searchlights back there searching for us. Yeah, I think we made it away. Mission accomplished. Later this week, I'm going to release a pilot mission for the, let's say it's the first mission of a custom campaign that I'm making. I need some voice actors to be some British and Canadian forces as well as American voices, so please hit me up if you want to voice act in that as well. It's going to be a historical campaign following the 309th Fighter Squadron of the 31st Fighter Group during their first combat missions at the Dieppe Raid in 1942. I have a Discord channel dedicated to all the information, so please hit me up if you want to be a part of it. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next mission later this week.